from bark mitzvahs to gotcha galas to birthday bashes, throwing a party for your pup can be a strenuous feat sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. We've rounded up some excellent tips from a premier party planner to make it an easy task for you. Come check them out with us. So Haley, thank you so much for having me here. Can you tell me a little bit about Puppy Parties NYC? Sure, so we are a full service party planning company for dogs and their owners, and we specialize in birthday parties, um, adoption anniversaries, and we do monthly public events as well. You've really become the premier like dog party planning company in New York City. How did it sort of start? About four years ago now, I threw a second birthday party for my dog. So we had um, just like close friends and family over and it was just a lot of fun. I organized like different games and activities and Bailey had like her little doggy friends over and we just had it in our apartment and I was like, you know what, maybe this could really be something. That's incredible, like really just doing something really sweet for your dog and now it's grown into this huge business. So tell me, what type of other parties have you planned? Birthday parties tend to be our most popular. Okay. Um, a lot of first birthday parties uh -huh. um, and then also parties for senior dogs. Oh Yeah, and then two gotcha days, which okay. is like the day you got your dog. Oh, that's yeah, super cute. So, like rescued your dog. Um, so it's just a day to like celebrate the day that, you know, you got them. And then in addition to that, we do monthly public events where we donate a portion of the proceeds to a charity. Um, a lot of the rescues and charity are based here in New York. And we just got done with our World Pup Cup. Oh, very cute. Yes, literally soccer for dogs. We had like a huge grass field and like these um, goals that were made for us. And we had like the soccer balls and commentators and it was really, really great. So um, yeah, and then a lot of different events around the holidays. We do an annual ugly sweater party a doggy Easter egg hunt. So all for dogs though. All like, for dogs. All for dogs. Yes. That is super cute. If you're going to throw a party for your dog at home, I know obviously they should definitely reach out to you because yeah. you are the expert in this, but any tips you can share with our viewers? I think number one is it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. Plan enough time to properly, you know, make sure everything is done right so then the celebration goes off with a hitch and you're not stressing and worrying the day of. Number two, you know, dogs, they can't eat everything that we can eat. You of know, course. their bodies are different, they're different than ours. So, you know, of course, making sure that if you're gonna have food for the humans, you don't have chocolate, you don't have grapes. Um, I think another tip, a great tip, is to hire a photographer. Um, you're gonna be busy the day of, you're gonna be running around, wanting to have a good time, talking to people, and you might not have time to snap photos of the party, so it's always great to hire a professional pet photographer to capture all the action. That makes perfect sense. You wanna be there and enjoy, and again, it, your dog is the host, but really you are, so you wanna make sure that you can be there and be available for everyone who attends. Exactly. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Haley, for um, sharing those tips with us. And if you'd like more information about throwing a party for your pet, check out Puppy Parties NYC com where you can get all the amazing tips from Haley and of course if you want to just enjoy the party you can actually book her uh, to actually throw a party for your dog and you can also check out more tips for throwing a good celebration for your dog at akc.org.